Ukraine's government was looking into reports from its military that Russian troops were using the ceasefire to advance towards Mariupol, Ukraine's Minister for Reintegration of Temporary Occupied Territories, Irina Verashuk, said. The Russian Defense Ministry said a broad offensive would continue in Ukraine, where it denies targeting civilians. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continued to carry out strikes on the military infrastructure of Ukraine, Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konoshenkov said, adding that forces from separatist-held Donetsk in Ukraine's east were continuing to tighten the encirclement of Mariupol. Mariupol city authorities urged civilians to leave. We are simply being destroyed, Mariupol Mayor Vadim Boychenko said. Aid agencies have warned of a humanitarian disaster across the country as food, water and medical supplies run short. More than 1.2 million refugees have fled to neighboring European countries, the United Nations Refugee Agency said on Saturday. The Ukrainian government said the plan was to evacuate around 200,000 people from Mariupol and 15,000 from Volnovaka, and the Red Cross is the ceasefire's guarantor. Mariupol City Council later said Russia was not observing the ceasefire entirely. The southeastern port city has come under heavy bombardment, a sign of its strategic value to Moscow due to its position between Russian-backed separatist territory in East Ukraine and the Crimean Peninsula, which Moscow seized from Ukraine in 2014. This night the shelling was harder and closer, a staff member from Doctors Without Borders Medicine Sans Frontiers said, according to the aid agency, adding there was still no power, water, heating or mobile phone links and food was scarce.